Hey guys, welcome back. I'm finally getting around to doing a video tasting of the Mochawaka Pilsner. Uh, sorry for the for the delay. I think I mentioned I might try and get it done over the last weekend. Um, anyway, there it is there. So I've just um, poured it up off the keg. It's really hot and humid here, so getting plenty of condensation. But hopefully you can see it's uh, it's fairly clear in the glass. Um, nice sort of uh, straw colour. A little bit of colour to it. It's almost a sort of golden straw. Um, holding a nice little uh, cap on the top. I don't know if you can see that, but there's plenty of bubbles streaming up. So appearance-wise, very happy with it. Um, so I've sort of started a little bit of a series of New Zealand Pilsner. So a couple of months, two or three months ago, I did the Rewaka Pilsner. And now I've uh, got the Mochawaka here. And I uh, didn't do a brew day, um, any brew day footage, but I've just kegged a new, uh, Nelson Pilsner. So that'll be the next tasting video. So probably going through three of the best known New Zealand hops. So Rewaka, Mochawaka and the Nelson. Um, but before we dive into the Mocha Waker, very quickly go over the recipe. So it's exactly the same as the Rewaka. So 92.5% milk Pilsner malt. 5% uh, Carahel helps with the foaming. Uh, a little bit of mouthfeel and you get a, I think it gives a sort of a tinge of colour um, to the beer. Also just a very slight sort of caramel note, it's only 5%. And then some uh, acidulated malt, two and a half percent. And yeah, I use the Nova Lager, so I use that on the Rewalker, and I'll do the same. I have done the same with the Nelson. So started out at uh, 104.9. Got that Nova Lager gets it down nice and low. So 1008, 5.4 percent, kegged on the 6th of January, so just over three weeks. So uh, yeah, let's get a. Won't waste any more time. Cheers, guys. Hope your week's going well. Get a nose on it. So, yeah, straight away I'm getting the Mochuaka on the nose. Obviously, being a Pilsner, that's uh, always going to be a dominant aroma. Yeah, I'm getting some, some tropical notes, but also on that second smell, I've got a slight sort of waft of um, lime as well. Nice and clean um, smell. Slight bit of like um, like a water crackery sort of aroma, probably from the malt. So yeah, I'm uh, stinking hot. Got up to 32 degrees today, um, and the humidity humidity's been through the roof. So let's dive in. First up, it's going down very nicely. Some um, getting that, those tropical notes, almost like a little bit of, I was going to say like a bit of pineapple, uh, but also some nice sort of delicate floral flavors coming through. Uh, it's really nice and uh, clean and crisp on the flavor. Bitterness is good. I think it's around 30 IBUs from memory. One of the few things I forgot to write down. The Carahels help to give it a yeah, definite, not slightly creamy. Uh, even though it's clean and crisp, there is a slightly creaminess to the mouthfeel. Say 5.4%. It's dangerous, dangerously drinkable, especially in this weather. Um, so yeah, very happy with how it's come out. See that Carahel, as I mentioned before, helps with the sort of the foaming. The, I 
think the head stability. So if you've used other um, grains for um, helping with head retention and foam, etc., um, definitely um, maybe give Carahel a whirl. Um, I've only really used it in uh, this Pilsner and the Rewalker Pilsner, um, but I'm definitely a convert um, for using a little, you know, in future, uh, in particular Pilsners and Lagers. Um, yeah, it's really, it's really good. Um, not sure what else I can tell you. Oh, sorry, I should quickly mention the hops, or when I put the hops in. So I didn't dry hop this, but it's still got plenty of um, hop flavour and aroma. So I did a 30 gram bittering addition at 15 minutes from the end of the boil, and then I used the remaining 70 grams, so I tend to go always use sort of 100 grams in my smaller batches. So yeah, the other 70 grams went in as a 15 minute 80 degree hop stand. So yeah, really impressed with how it's turned out considering there's no dry hop in there. I'm not, I'm not saying you wouldn't get more if you did a, a, a dry hop addition as well, but I think you still, or the way I'm doing it, I still get plenty of hop flavor and aroma. Just with that bittering in hop stand, so um, and I've done the same with the Nelson as well, so there's no um, dry hop for that. So that's me done. Um, thanks for watching. If you got any questions, um, yeah, just sing out. Uh, how do I rate it? Um, as far as a, a nice, easy drinking hoppy pilsner, I'm very happy. I can't actually think of anything I would change. Um, the hop. A mocho egg tends to be a little bit more, less, a little bit more subtle than, say, the Rewalker. The Rewalker is definitely a more punchy, more potent type of hop. So this is more of a delicate, um, hot tropical fruit. Um, like I say, sort of hints of lime and some sort of floral notes. So it works really, really well in a Pilsner style beer. Uh, so yeah, I'll be looking forward to seeing how the Nelson. Um, works out that should have a, a lot more sort of sort of hop um, presence I guess you could say so uh, until then um, so yeah that's just been kicked so within hopefully within the next couple of weeks I'll do a video on that so stay tuned you guys enjoy the rest of your week drink good beer and thanks for watching we'll catch you next time over and out cheers